Always good when you can find the party driving down a street and seeing a bunch of people hanging out out front. Now I have to worry about looking at addresses. And for some reason, a bunch of lowriders out here. Hey, I think I wrote about the Conquistadors before for the reader. How are you? What's up, you guys? How you been? Hey, nice to see you again. Are you guys involved with this uh, barbershop? This guy's. I uh, cut hair here. I work here. Oh, cool. When are you guys going to officially be open? This Tuesday. Oh, cool. All right. Party's already in full swing, though. All right, are you guys the owners of this place? Yes, we are. Um, now, are you nervous when somebody comes in to get their hair done? They'll be like, "Okay, don't put any tattoos on my uh, <laughs> on my forehead." Um, now, what made you guys decide to open up the shop? I like the name. Tell me what what is the name of the shop? Dapper J's Barbershop in Hot Shades. Uh, Dapper is the perfect word for a barbershop. What made you decide to go with that name? Uh, my wife suggested it, and uh, it just worked. It fit. Cool. Um, before you open a shop like this, do you guys look around to see like what's the closest barber shop in the area? Or yeah. because I always wonder how businesses do stuff like that. Like sometimes you'll see a Subway open up and there's a Quiznos like on the same block, and you're wondering. Yeah, definitely. We we check the demographic and realize everything around here is a uh, hack, hack job. Okay. And are you guys going to appeal to like? Uh, what kind of clientele are you going to appeal to? Because I see like a bunch of low riders and hot rods and stuff outside. Yeah, definitely into the whole rockabilly scene, uh, low riders, and Swiss traditional old guys, you know, that love to come in and uh, be reminded of the past, you know. Cool. And um, I know a lot of places don't give shaves anymore, and you have the word shave right in your title. What do you charge for a hot shave? We charge $16 for a three towel hot shave. Uh, best in town. Cool. And uh, and probably one of the only in town. Because I remember once asking about a shave a couple of years ago. And the place said, oh, yeah, the, our guy that does it isn't here. And we don't like to do it because we're not so... You know, experience with shaves anymore, and it's kind of a yeah. You know, it's kind of like a lost it's art. A lost it seems. art, exactly. Yeah, a lot of barber shops don't offer that anymore, but uh, they want to keep it traditional and uh, old school. Do all the guys that cut hair here also do the shaves? Absolutely. Do they have to have a certain amount of uh, being trained or anything? Yeah, we all went to a barber college and graduated, oh, okay. and everybody here is a. Oh yeah, when I was coming in, I saw uh, the Conquistadors. I once did a party about them, and so. Yeah, Julie. I was talking to one of the guys. Uh, a founding member of Conquistador. Yeah. That's cool. Is the big guy over there the bouncer for the night? <laughs> I'm not sure who the hell is. <laughs>